she called me and said, Peyton's gone. And I just started crying. And I just asked, why did they have to take her so soon? Tonight, we are learning more about that fiery crash killing three people in Heber yesterday. Two of the girls who lost their lives had just graduated from high school. New specialist Matt Rascone has more on how they're being remembered. Two of those killed spent the last four years here at Wasatch High and were on to bigger and better things. Instead, family and countless friends are mourning their sudden and tragic loss. They were just so happy. You just, they're just happy. Happy and full of life. Peyton Caldwell and Emma Call hit the road Monday with so much already accomplished and so much more ahead. Her and Emma were like people that you wanted to be around. Like they always knew how to make you happy. They were headed down US 189 when authorities say a pickup driver rear-ended a Jeep going the opposite direction. The Jeep caught fire and went into oncoming traffic, hitting the trailblazer that the two girls were in, which also caught fire. I just, just felt like this is a complete nightmare. Like, I'm just going to wake up tomorrow. It's going to be over. But I just collapsed. I was Tiffany like, Hall has been walls. friends with Peyton since elementary school. Bruh. They were always together. Oh, my gosh. Everything. Sorry. <laughs> Everything. She, like, during last summer, um... She was there every day in my house. We'd sleep over. We'd be up till 3 in the morning. Peyton was involved in several activities, like track and volleyball. She smiles, and it's just contagious. She's just the kind of girl that you want to be friends with, but she's just so humble. Emma also ran track at Wasatch High. She was the sweetest person. She was just, like, full of energy and like excitement just last month they both graduated from high school with no way of knowing they would soon graduate from this life leaving only good memories for heartbroken families and friends i know they're in a better place it's hard for me right now to understand that concept i know she's happy Friends, family, and church members are gathering tonight for a vigil for those who lost their lives. They are working on a GoFundMe page, and we'll add that to the story on our website. Matt Rascone, KSL 5 News.